our experience is that we were doing too much for the students. We were hand feeding them all the information, all the handouts, doing everything for them. And this was stopping them from being, from thinking for themselves and from being able to do it for themselves. So we've decided to give them no handouts, to make them do everything for themselves, to deliver orally. So everything they wanted to know or wanted to remember, they had to write down. They had to write it down legibly so that they could understand it uh, in the future. And we've noticed a big improvement in the um, legibility, their comprehension, and their understanding of other people's texts. We used to have examples where uh, we would calculate the height of a smokestack or the, the si size of a sail. And most of these kids had never been near the sea or, or they weren't interested in sailing or smokestacks. But if we could contextualize that problem into a workshop setting, and say to work out this particular angle you need this particular process then they would learn that process because they could see the value in it for themselves so instead of teaching them what we wanted them to know we're now teaching them what they want to know and that buy-in from the student is very important the assessment tool when we first um, we were told that we had to do this assessment tool we thought god that's something else we've got to do another two-hour block out of the beginning and out of the end of um, our course. Uh, we were quite annoyed, but it was one of those things we had to do, so we did it. When, however, we got the results, we were really pleased because we teach a scaffolding uh, technique, a scaffolded method of delivery. And um, for the first time, using the assessment tool, we knew where to start building our scaffold. Mm -hmm. Previous to that, um, it would take us three to four weeks to find out where each individual student was at. Now we can do it right at the beginning. They've given us a tool, told us how to use it, but we found other benefits. And those other benefits are direct, directly uh, influence our relationship with our students. If you know exactly where the student's coming from, then it, it makes it much easier to build that relationship. If you're going to start um, pointing or helping people to find the way they want to go, then you need to start contextualizing some of the basic things that you teach them. Um, you need to start contextualizing the communication, the literacy skills, and you definitely need to contextualize the numeracy skills. Um, to teach somebody algebra who doesn't need ever to do algebra, um, you might be turning him off maths for life. Uh, whereas if you can show him that look, there's a definite need for this particular type of maths in the area you are aiming for, then that might just click a button and click a switch and, and get him interested. If you mention trigonometry to anybody, they'll the kind of their eyeballs will roll, roll up into the top of the head and they don't want to know. Um, but if you can show a student that you will definitely need to master this technique for working out angles, because you'll use it in a workshop situation. And then give them a project where he has to actually do that in a workshop situation. Not sitting down in a classroom, a nice and quiet space with a calculator, but sitting down and working out in his head where the angles are. Then if he can see the benefit, he will buy into that and he will master that technique.